So, uh, we're continuing today with Dead Fire. Uh, I kind of forgot what we were doing, but we're in this sweet ass inn, so it can't be all that bad. Uh, I don't know. Let's just pick up from here and go. I don't really have much to say, to be honest. Uh, oh, except for, sorry I'm a bit late today, but, um, you know, I had some stuff to do. So this might be a bit of a shorter stream, but I'm still glad we get some time to, to play some Dead Fire today. It's better than, uh, than no time at all. At least in my opinion. Alright, so we're in a place that has a couple of dancers. So this is like a, a theater. Uh, there's a little kitchen here. Can we steal? Is there anything worth stealing? Not really. Okay. How about we just... Oh, it's a wild mare. Okay, let's get out of here. I kind of wish you could get that in music as we go other places. The song is so good. <clears throat> so if I remember correctly, oh, we're at, the, we're at the Queen's Birth area. And so there was another area we were at called the Gullet, I believe. And we, if I remember correctly, we did like half of the the things there. I think we explored like half of the, the area. Requires a grimoire. Surely you write your chant somewhere. Never. For what would I scribe a song <clears throat> that lives in my heart? Also, he's a druid. <laughs> I, I didn't make him a chanter, so that line's kind of weird. Unless he just likes chanting anyway. Have you any food? Surely you the Raparu feed their children from this pile? Oof, rough. The queen calls these rations. Does she expect the Raparo to subsist on garbage? You're right, it's awful. So there are children here. Man, this place sucks. How did they even let it get to the state? What could possibly be the reason for this? Okay, so the Narrows is here, which is kind of a... An area that uh, it sounds like it's very like dark alley vibes, and uh, we could probably even get lost in. Poison me, Akira. No thanks. <clears throat> hmm. Pitley Sanctuary. It's got the Aeothis symbol on it. I think we had to talk to Pitley for something. I don't remember what. So I'm just gonna quick save here. The woman bends over a pile of dried, bitter-smelling herbs. She's crushing and mashing them on dirty scrap of parchment, coughing with effort. She steps in front of you to block your way, wiping a ragged sleeve across her roomy, bloodshot eyes. Got nothing here worth selling or stealing. You best be on your way. You best be on your way. Uh, are you ill? You hear a muffled hacking and the unsteady rhythm of labored, wheezing breaths coming from the back of the room. Nothing a little ginger root and some bed rest won't cure. Please, let me be. I hear people coughing in the back. It's hard to keep them quiet. There's some sick Raparu in the back. Not much I can do for them now besides keep them comfortable and hidden. Is that wise? Keeping a room full of sick people in the most crowded district in the city? It's better than leaving them to wander the district. I can give them a dignified death, if nothing else. Um, why are you hiding sick people? Because they've got drowner's lung. Drowner's lung. Kills even uh oh, what's a drowner's lung? A gift from the Valians. Fills your lungs with fluid. Gets you coughing all the time. Trying Ugh, to Ugh, sounds horrible. One of my patients coughed so hard she broke a rib. Damn, that sucks. Eventually, it gets so bad you can't hack it out. You just lie there, struggling for breath, until you choke on your own phlegm. Ugh. I hear it's a long, hard end. I heard some Raparu had gotten sick, so I brought them here to care for them. City healers don't come down here. The Raparu have no healers of their own? These people are laborers and fishers. 
Many aren't even Kahanga. Wound up here after raiders and slavers tore their own tribes apart. Anyway, I realized what was wrong when I heard the rattle in their chests. The way they gasped for air. Only cure is an elixir made with pine seed oil. It costs pine a seed oil. Though not nearly as much as an epidemic. Still, if news of this outbreak gets out, these poor souls will get tossed into the old city. No one with any money in Nekataka spends it on the Raparu. <laughs> I hope they toss you in for spreading plague, you idiot. Jesus Christ. Um. I see. Is there any way to get a cure? You can get nearly anything on Delver's Row. Only trouble is finding it. Delver's you Row. This is in the Narrows, right? Somewhere. Unfortunately, the children of the Dawn Stars don't have many connections in this part of town. But you might. I might. Streetwise. Just that you seem like someone who's comfortable on that side of town. If not, I bet you could find someone at the tavern who knows where Dilver's Row is. <laughs> no offense taken. Criminal types like to wet their throats after a long day of lying, cheating, and stealing. <laughs> what interest do the Children of the Dawn Stars have in the gullet? About the only honest one. The Reparo here are treated like garbage. Even made to eat garbage from that scrap heap opposite the left. Not that I need to tell you. And Dario and his pinch of Right, gun that guy. Took advantage of the neglect down here to set up the black market on Delver's Road. Dario. He runs most of the criminal mischief that goes on here. Some say he's an old Valian traditionalist. Some say he's a thug with good taste. Either way, I steer clear of him. Go on. The gullet gets more crowded as tribes from the other islands come to Nekataka. Some are driven from their homes by pirates, raiders, even trading company thugs. Trading company thugs. Others hear stories of the foreign wealth pouring into the city. What they don't realize is most of it flows between the foreigners and the palace. Uh, so the Dawn Stars are helping out? As best we can. Most of us came from Rayad Saris after the Vorlis plot and the Saints War. Or we were born to families that did. We remember what it's like to scrape by. Um, then maybe Delver's Row spread some of the wealth down there? That's what Dario and his people say. They recruit Raparu to sneak things from the docks, report on meetings between traders. <sighs> I can't blame the Raparu. Not when the alternative is eaten from a trash pile. This guy water shaping in the back. I don't back. trust these Principi any more than I do the trading company. So the people in Delver's Row are the Principi. We haven't encountered them yet. And whenever the city authorities finally crack down, the Reparo will be caught in the middle. Sometimes, I see. I think maybe this is why Aethus brought us to dead fire. So we can do some good. Other days, I'm too damn tired. Uh, I was told you may be able to help with the food shortage in the gullet. We tried, but the one away is prize share. Meaning anything we give these people has to go through the palace. Akira, it is for the Ranga and the Mataru to feed the tribe. Best I can tell, our food went to the queen's table. Assuming it didn't rot in the storehouse first. Um, whoa, these are two very different options. If the queen sanctioned more shares, would the Dawn Stars donate them? Donate the crops? Or would you provide supplies if Principi agreed to smuggle them to the Reparu? Hmm. Let's go with the second one. Would you provide the supplies if the Principi agreed to smuggle them to the Rapar? Aloth flashes a pl quick, pleased glance. Stewardship. That's a question for Sawin. I'd ask her myself, but I got my hands full here. Sawin. She's high priestess at the Temple of Gaul. Tell her Pithy sent you. She'll listen. Probably. Okay. Need something? Cool. We haven't been there yet. The Temple of Gone. I don't think so. Yeah. Keep it down. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Hmm? Wait. I'm here. What can I do? Yeah. Well. Right. I'm here. You have my attention. Okay. Hmm? Well. I mean, these people are pretty poor, but I'm sure they're not gonna miss some thief's buddy. Ailing Raparu. Yoink. 
I'm really glad there's like no morale system here. Because I'm like basically stealing from sick people. I think there's one more house I want to- Oh, Forsaken Cat. Ickis. Plus three, all defenses against body affliction, mind affliction attacks. Uh, bonus defense against poison and disease. Okay. So this house here, we haven't been to. And then we'll go check out the Narrows. Telus. Telus house. I don't think they're in right now. Alright, let's go. The cave icon. Okay, let's make a save here. Wait, ooh, I wanted to call it something. Yeah, I'll just name this into the narrows. All right, you enter a dim alleyway that reeks of urine and torch smoke. Ugh, gross. Along a passage stretches to your left and right. Shadows move in the guttering torchlight, but they're nothing more than shapes at this distance. The chatter and bustle of the gullet continues behind you. So we have two directions so far. One is right, left, and thing then right again. And the other is right and then go straight. So let's go right. Uh, you trudge along the darkened passageway and reach an intersection. The tunnel branches off to the right, but you, he you hear the distant murmurs of voices down the darkened path, but you see no one. Yeah, okay, let's go forward here. On your left is an abandoned merchant stall displaying cheap jewelry. The passage continues. Passage, the path continues ahead. Uh, inspect the merchant stall, streetwise, and perception. Laid out of various trinkets made from junk necklaces, strung with fish bones and shoe buckles, and bracelets made with shards of broken glass. But the curtain sways and flaps as if stirred by a draft. You twitch it aside and discover a secret passageway. Ooh. Look at this dude here. That's, that's kind of cool. Just hanging out with his hood. Path continues ahead. Go through the curtain behind the merchant stall. Check the tunnel one more time to make sure no one's watching you. Then you slip behind the curtain and into another passageway. Oh, look at these dudes. You're walking along when several hooded figures materialize out of the darkness. Not so fast. You gotta pay a toll if you want to visit Delver's Row. We can lie. Bluff or diplomacy? Good folk, open markets are vital to a healthy economy. Would you turn away a paying customer? They look at each other and shrug. Uh, last time I came through, there was a man with a scar. I paid him. They shrug and stand aside. You continue on, and the rough stone changes to smooth cobbles under your feet. One lamp light uh, shivers ahead, as yellow and tremulous as fear itself. Before you is a narrow cavern that rides with shadows and echoes with the music of jingling coins. Enter Delver's Row. Oh, so this is actually the path to Delver's Row. Then I, I guess I don't really know what the other path was. I completely forgot. But cool. We made it here. Look at this. The Spindle Man. Look at this area. Enerat. An Orlan woman stands over a table laden with herbs and spices. She mixes them without looking at her work, pausing now and then to raise a sprig and, or file to her nose. You realize she's blind. It's the smell of cardamom that drew you, no? Or perhaps the sting of fresh pepper. Or maybe you seek something with a stronger bite. What do you sell? Food, of course, and supplies for the road. Though most here come to me for poisons and venoms. 
I'm looking for a medicine to cure a drowner's lung. Then you'd best ask elsewhere. But careful. If the Mataru overseer hears there's a sickness, might be he has more questions for a you. A Mataru? I need supplies. I have plenty. Though, if you're buying poison and ailment, mind you store them separate. <laughs> Fair enough. Delver Stew. Prepared meal plus 10 max health. Sells pork. Um... Also sells, sells armor for whatever weird reason. Thieves putty. Exceptional hide is a 7 armor rating. Hmm. Okay, I don't think we really need anything just yet. Keeping quiet. Even though she's blind, her sense of hearing, I guess, makes up for that. I've got it. Okay. Now I'm on record uh, for stealing from the blind and the sick. Oh boy, that's a lot of people. Okay, let's save here. Cutthroat thug pirate pirate cutthroat. Street merchant. Mind where you're walking. No, no, I've just got one of those faces, mate. A particle growing in her ass cheek, she did. I'm not joking. Mouth char. Looking for something to sharpen the senses to help you leave your sorrows behind. I got what you need. Let me see what you have. Rune powder, reagent. It's a bunch of drugs, essentially. What this guy's got. And ingredients for drugs, maybe? Will accuracy. This might be pretty good, but I, just, I don't really want to go down this route, to be honest. Remember, kids, winners don't do drugs. <laughs> Rust. A figure in the shadows looks up at your approach, pursing his lips together in a crooked line. I think you made a wrong turn, Bill. Nonsense, I go where I please. The name is Duelist. I know who you are. I make it my bag to keep my eyes on the new fish that end up in the gully. Rats around here been whispering about you. I'm guessing you're looking to buy some art, yeah? He lightly traces a finger across the hilt of an emerald encrusted stiletto, hidden within the folds of a dark leather tunic. His narrowed eyes seem to dance in the magical light as the gemstone pulses with a caustic glow. Right half of his, mouth, of his mouth ascends menacingly as he dips his head and peers at you underneath his brow. I too am an artist, rogue assassin. Then you've no need of me, eh? Just don't go filching my regulars and we'll get on fine. With a shrug, he leans back against the wall. For some reason, this person was like glowing down here and I thought this guy was, was that person. I'm looking for cure to Drowner's Lung. Keep your rotten ass away from me, Lunger. You want to talk to a Valian that goes by her net, so. He runs a shop down the street, here in the row. Don't tell him I sent you. And don't say I never did you any favors. I'd like you to handle a problem for me. Go on. Actually, I don't need anyone murdered at the moment. <laughs> okay. Interesting. You can hire an assassin for... Maybe some quest or another. Why hire when you can just do it by by yourself, right? Found something. Oh, hello. Happily. Steady does it. Hmm? It's a high lockpick cost. I'll get it open. Finished. 
Groundo's lung medicine. Are you kidding me? We just found some. Done. Okay. Fine leather armor. Ruby. I'll get it open. Too bad we can't open this thing. Ernetso. Oh, I just stole from Ernetso. That's what it was. Look at all these guards here. Ernetso has not seen you before. You must be new. New or very good at disguises. Ah, but you are the one the Ropiro speak of. They are most fond of you, but not so discreet. Ah, he turns to Takehu. Come, see Ernetso's wares. You must spend that extra coin on something. Another water mage, okay. I... forgive me. Do we know each other? I could see. It seems not. The mistake is mine. But how did you hear about this place? Wait, no. Do not tell me. Sometimes it is better not to know. There is something I can get for you, yes? Tell me quietly. What do you know about the spindle man? Merla. It is a dangerous pest. When it dug its lair. They don't even ask permission of their <clears throat> of the boss. Of the boss. Usually you want to pay the proper respects if you're digging a layer. They say it is a mind reader. Lots of Ithrax. Simple folk. Quiet folk. It does not do to have a mind reader nosing among us. Do you understand me? How did I know to ask about the spindle man? That's a weird question. Uh, I need supplies. Of course. Only do not tell anyone. Where you got them? Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> Garari Quiras. Legendary, so plus four armor rating for a light armor. That's really good. Garari skin, an extra armor rating. Um, segmented Scutum. 10% of incoming hits converted to grazes from weapons. This thing is really nice. That's so expensive, though. Oh, God. Fine breastplate. Where's the the good stuff, man? Where are you keeping it? Scoria. Guess he's not keeping it here. Which means we we have to buy it. There is something I can get, Merla. It is when it dark. Well, it, they, it does not do. Of course. Uh, do we have any things to sell? Like that might be worth a lot. Ooh, we can we can sell our pet our pets if we want to. I'm definitely not doing that. We can send a little some of these armors, maybe. We have this fine padded armor and this fine leather armor. Both essentially the same thing, except one is crush defense and one is pierce. Pierce burn, crush freeze. And I've got on slash corrode. I think we should sell like all of our basic stuff, right? Bringendine. That's heavy armor, nine rating. As is the plate armor. Okay. Mataru. I feel like we should keep these like, at least one of these. You know, just to like maybe blend in if the need arises. Even these dancer outfits, just in case. Worn robe. I also have this Principe armor, which I think we should keep. Okay. Oh, weapons. Look at all these swords. Sorb staves. Now let's just sell all that stuff. 
This time I'm selling my things before it makes our inventory slow down. That's progress. I would not have even considered this before. Keep one crossbow. Spear, pike. No. We, we have one rapier. Fine quarterstaff. I don't think we need this. I'll keep the hatchet just in case. Still nowhere near enough to buy this. Oh my god. Okay. So he doesn't have any exceptional firearms, but he does have fine pistols and fine arquebuses. Which increases its accuracy by four, damage and penetration. I actually I, I wanted to check what I what I have on my character. I have fine pistols and daggers. I've also got two of these arquebuses. Archibusai on me. I'll put these armors here. Water shaper's robe. I couldn't sell those. Weird. There is something I can get for you. Yes, of course. Oh no! Here we go. Light armor exceptional. It's zero recovery though. That's really nice for trading off one armor for for 20% recovery. I'm a little curious actually. Let's try this. Cuz it's, it's exceptional too. It's got two armor rating on it. Hmm. There is something I can get for you. I like how the game tells you if you're stealing or not, like right in, right in front of people. Fine rape here. Ooh, hell yeah. Maybe we can try this out now. This is considered 14 to 19 peers. Slightly more recovery time than the dagger. It's kind of weird that like it actually does less damage uh, per less DPS than a dagger, even though it's a rapier, right? Because it's it's uh, the same damage, uh, different type though, but it's the same damage over a longer period of time. So it seems just worse than a dagger for most cases. Indeed. That's considered stealing. You need a blade or a bludgeon or some sturdy armor. Umani has what you seek. Umani. Old Umani's stock is tested in the hands and throats. Yo, Psycho, what's up, man? In the Hope you're doing well. Never will you find a better sol uh, Rekfu's Fractured Cask grants immortal will, cannot be interrupted. That seems really good for a caster, actually. Hmm. Okay. Undying Burden, Dig Deep, plus one athletics. Second Wind, uh, Grit, incoming weapon damage is reduced as, as health is lost. Ooh, up to a max of 10% damage reduction. And it's got a constitution on it. This is pretty neat. 5.30 a.m. I woke up at 3.30 tonight. Can't sleep as usual. Damn. Rough, dude. <laughs> you sound like you're tired. I can't imagine only sleeping for like... For like a little bit. I'm the type of person that needs like... As much sleep as I can humanly fit in one night. Uh, exceptional sword. He's got exceptional padded. Armor. Bit too expensive though. 
Okay. Cool. Oh, a stray dog. Let's pick him up. All goal. Minus 20% constitution affliction duration. That's so specific. I don't think that's worth it. Save. Oh, we found the, the spindle man. This is where the Vithrak is hanging out? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. White Witch Mask. Ability activated when wearer becomes bloodied. Grants Rindgrim's repulsive visage. Foe AoE sickened and terrified? That's actually, um... That's a cypher spell, is it? I think it is. No, or no, I think it's just a regular wizard spell. So you get that when you're bloodied. Uh, you also get Rindgrim's Enervating Terror. Oh, so two of these types of spells. This one is weakened and terrified. And you also gain power levels to all illusions that you cast. That seems pretty decent for for Aloth, but I'll we'll have to try and steal it, I guess. Nice and slow. Yeah, the way they laid out this room means we can't really just take it. Unless we like squeeze through here. I don't think it's gonna work. Look at all the view, the eyes on this area. There's no way. Yeah. Cloaked elf. Who's this? Do you hear the drip, drip, drip of of water on ancient bones, ancient stones? Damn. <laughs> Rap god. What Let's is go. This kith creature. But you said kith, but it says elf here. All right, I'll go first. <clears throat> Is it true some of your kind are covered in soft fur that feels good to pet? Yeah, <laughs> nice. What secrets does it bring? Let us see. Let us see. Healed your mind. Cypher. We wish to only see, to know, yet kith hide and hoard their secrets. I don't trust this creature at all. What are you doing in the gullet? Will you tell me a secret? Not when you have been such a miser with your own. Fine, I'll tell you a secret. I assume you're volunteering one of your own. Yeah. Yes. I'm not really left-handed. <laughs> um, I was nearly nearly killed by Aethys and destroyed and restored by Barith. Yes, you have been generous with us. There is a place below the slums, old, cold, and abandoned, where the city swallows those it wishes forgotten. Okay, we knew that. But this place was once part of the city. So was its temple, a site holy to the goddess of distant, forgotten things. Okay. What are you doing in the gullet? We dig. There are many mines here with many secrets, many depths with even more. You dig? A city under a city. Another in the ruins. It teems with young secrets, rivalries, and betrayals. We seek the older secrets, buried deeper and carved on weathered stone. Your friends, the broken down creatures of this place, they know the old secrets. They know, but they do not tell me. <laughs> okay, will you tell me a secret? Not when you have been. I'll tell you a secret. Yes. The gods were created by the Ing Ingwithins. Yes, you have been generous with us. There is a what? That's it. This place. No, tell me another secret. I'm not really left-handed. We tire of your games, Kith Creek. Ah, okay. People are. That that was worth doing just for the the rep bonus, the street cred. Uh, what happens if we lie? Not. Oh, we can't lie anymore. Okay. I need supplies. Does he sell that helm? He does. It's only a thousand though. 
I don't know. I wouldn't buy it. I would be happy to get it for free. But I would not buy it. Ring of Regeneration. One health restored per six. Some fine stuff. Rotward Amulet. Resistance against poison, disease, decay. Um, What else? Xandithus is dragon scaled grimoire. A lot of fire spells here. Wall of flame, flame shield, fireball. We have most of these, so not really worth it. Mortification bindings, plus two max mortification. I have no idea what that means, but I guess that's good for a monk, perhaps. Oh, that's their their currency. So this is really good, actually. Or not their currency, like, you know, their, their resource pool to spend on abilities. So getting two of that is really nice for, for such a cheap price. Spindleman's Grimoire. Uh, sure. Okay. It's alright. This Sisypho's Stone. Um, reduced action speed and damage to, uh, for 15 seconds when where is hit melee. Oh no, it's, it's it's reduced action speed and you damage the attacker. Okay. When we get hit. Eh, it's alright. What's this? Oh, there's a pry bar. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's that? Obsidian lamp figurine. One per rest. Three uses. Summons three shades. Okay. Back up. No shops this way, stranger. How do I get? Well, what are you guarding? You think I'm standing here so I can tell you about it? Come on, go. How do I get permission to pass? That's up to Dario. I can attack him and just say, I go where I please. Then I would have to fight these dudes. And, and there's nothing really here. We have to, Maybe let's find Dario first before we start engaging in combat with these guys. Um, okay, so th this is not where Dario is. This is just Delver's Row. So I think the way that I mentioned before, the right, le left, right... I think that's the right way to go. For the narrows. Retrace your steps at the exit. Oh wait, damn. For the narrows, if we go from here, we go right. Go forward. To the left, you hear the din of a multitude and smell the musk of many bodies. Wait, let's return to the exit. I need to save before we do anything. Okay. What is this? Look, I move my mouse here and it's over there. And then it moves position. Hello? Video game? Hi. Can I, can I go? Dude, what is this? <laughs> the game is trolling me. How do I how do I leave? Can I leave another way? I don't think so. What if I take off fast mode? That doesn't affect. How may I help? You need to ask me what what have you what at your service? I can't do it. <laughs> I can't get out. Help! There we go. Okay, you have to lower that window. That helps. Um, let's go to the gullet.
Okay. So this time we're going to go right. Forward. Forward. Right. Forward. Passage opens into a large cavern. Below you, ramshackle buildings crowd together like broken teeth. A maze of streets wind between them. Uh, some barely wide enough for two to pass the breast. Yet throngs of people fill the narrow streets and tiny plazas. Their voices rising with the smoke of hundreds of hundreds of torches. Explore the neighborhood. This is cool. I kind of wish we could see more of this kind of stuff. I love like these these like small towns that are like kind of covered in shadow. Lots of dark alleyways. You pick your way down the worn, uneven stairs and descend into the hubbub below. Quantum men, women, and children surround you, all laughing, haggling, and quarreling over one another. You notice a few foreign faces, Valians, Adirians, and even a, a few Rawatayans slipping through the crowd. A heady mixture of frying fish, unwashed bodies, ugh, and accumulated refuse permeates the air. Oh, you, you don't get to walk through here. You just kind of have to RP your way through this. Uh, you pass a busy stall where a man serves murk brew in chip shells. A rich, nutty aroma rises on plumes of steam. You hear a gasp of surprise behind you and see a small group of people huddled together, chattering. Listen in. Three women hurry along, their arms uh, full of laundry and their voices low with gossip. They say Bia charmed the Rautain captain, the same who threw Botaro into the old city. Do you get your fish and your news from the same heap? It was a Princhipi man she took up with. You both blunt your teeth on nonsense. The slavers in the undercroft took the poor woman. Oh, so we helped her out and we got her out of the city. And now there's all the sorts of like rumors floating about and how she escaped. Uh, let's continue exploring the neighborhood. Go across a Roparu man and woman sitting on a rooftop watching the activity below. They're passing a pipe back and forth and talking quietly. He gnaws at the end of the pipe nervously. My neighbor disappeared on near the undercroft weeks ago. She shrugs, always smugglers and pirates lurking there. Some of them turn to slaving. He nods, taking a puff. That's for what I stay away from, Delver's Row. Um, plenty of bad sorts there. She holds her hand out for the pipe. Ekera, but they are the only sorts who pay. They laugh into silence, smoking peacefully. Continue exploring. Okay. Oh, you come across a corner where a pair of thugs... A man of a wo and woman have surrounded a Juana man. He has a potbelly and nervous expression, and he has backed himself as far into the corner as he can. It's an exchange. You pay us, and we don't hurt you. Everyone knows you don't rough up your own neighbors. Oh, actually, no. Let's go with this smart option, because it's it requires... In no, actually, no. Let's go streetwise. Everyone knows you don't rough up your own neighbors. The thugs consider your words a nod. She's right. Let's head to the surface. Plenty of money floating around the bathhouse. The Juana man thanks you and nervously scurries off. Okay. Success. You know how pickpockets operate. You you keep your hands over your valuables. As the passerby brushes against you, you feel a hand reach for your purse. You grab his wrist and pull the thief towards you. Poor you is a Juana child. Her eyes are wide with terror. Ha! Teach the child better technique. Sleight of hand, let's do that. She's worried at first, but she slowly draws closer as she watches your quick practice movements. With your encouragement, she mimics your deft maneuvers. She does it quite well. She thanks you with a mischievous smile and turns to go. The child disappears among the crowd. Uh, you come across, oh, this is the pipe people. Found half a, she puffs on the pipe, found half a silver fin in the heap yesterday. Still with the head. He shakes his head. Amira's wind, winds blow sweet for you. She sighs, breathing her head in smoke. No winds down here. You got to dig. Always the good stuff gets buried by scraps. Ekara. So these are just like random events that happen. Nothing of relevance. I think we've exhausted everything here. Okay. Return to the Narrows. Go forward. Go left. Turn around. Go forward. You make your way to forward and feeling the walls to guide yourself in the darkness. Your hands come away slimy. You smell something foul further down the tunnel. 
The stench of loose bowels and the metallic tang of blood. Oh, God. At the end of the tunnel, we find a body slumped against the wall. Stab wounds rend the corpse's clothes and flesh, and its arms and knees twist at unnatural angles. Search the body. 22 perception. We find a secret compartment sewn into the lining of his trousers. It contains a small note and a handful of coins. Read the note. Ulog. Oh, this is related to one of our quests, I think. Ulog, there's a new shipment of for your Reparer friends waiting near the lift in Delver's Row. Come get the food for the cave stink rots it. Your mad captain, Morena. Give the old man my regards. I put an extra koi key in there just for him. Don't say I've never done anything nice. Dead man's note. Turn around. Go left. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Wait, let's leave. Establish a food source. This is the quest with Mad Morena. So it's Ulog. Uh, the Dawn Stars or the prince, uh, the prince in the palace. Okay. <clears throat> this is the one I was looking for. Head into the narrows, turn right, oh, right, right, left of the bend. Okay, got it. I thought it was right, left, right. Right, right. The tunnel branches to the left. The floor uh, around the entrance is spattered with something as thick and dark as tar. It looks like Sveth. Go left. A handful of guards emerge and block your way, crossing their thick arms over their chests. One of them spits a viscous black glob at your feet. He rolls a dark plug between his teeth. Better head back, friend. It's invitation only past here. Dario sent a messenger for me. Guards not let you pass, chomping loudly on the mouthfuls of Seth. At the end of the passage is a stately door crafted of polished mahogany. Through the small slit in the door, you catch flashes of fire cast shadows and bright textiles. The scent of sandalwood and cinnamon oil come to, uh, come to you on a warm draft. Whatever is beyond the door is far likely is likely far more elegant than anything else you've seen near the gullet. Let's enter the hideout. Okay, it's not that big of a place. Thug, you never saw us here. Okay. Dario, Dario the Lean. I'll get it open. Finish. Aquamarine and Copper Par. Blah. Worth a look. Huh? Steady does it. Look at all these people here. I'll get it open. Done. Fine hunting bow, moderate healing, turquoise, golden swole. Magranic Benediction. There's dudes everywhere here. Holy. There's not a, a blind spot. And yet, I still want to pickpocket this guy by the door. I don't know why. I'm a kleptomaniac. Someone, someone stop me. Done. Okay. A thin, long-limbed man holds a handkerchief in one hand and a threaded needle in the other. As you approach, he sets his handiwork aside and you see an elaborate goldwork pattern embroidered around the edge. The same pattern that adorns his brilliant tunic. You also notice a strange bulk beneath the thin fabric of his trouser legs that run up, runs up from hip to ankle. Okay. The hero of the Reparu visits me at last. You must forgive the cryptic introduction, but I prefer to remain among the comforts of home. Okay. It certainly looks comfortable. Better to be a prince here than a slave out there. Though these are modest luxuries compared to those at the estate of your friends in Queensburg. Friends? But had I only known there was a watcher in my midst, I would have extended the invitation sooner. 
Um. Thank you for the courtesy, all the same. A pleasure. I am thinking we could be grand friends, you and I. You cannot have too many friends in Nekataka. Kara, but I am worth five friends at least. <laughs> okay. And I need only a favor. An insignificant thing for a watcher like you. There is an artifact called the Cornet of Waves, which is currently in the possession of a Juana named Takano. I would like you to liberate it for me. Most people of your standing like to handle their acquisitions themselves. Alas, none of my people are watchers, and you will see things they cannot. Takano is a man of many vanities, as your special gifts will no doubt reveal. His villa is on the eastern edge of Serpent's Crown, just downwind of the palace. The opportunist I first hired was too bold and found herself ejected from the district. No, too bad. With your unique talents, I am hoping you can avoid such complications and persuade Takano. After all, it would be best to avoid drawing the ire of our Mataru hosts. When you have the cornet, bring it to me. I will pay you well for it, and you will find my favor useful in this part of the city. What is the Cornet of Waves? It is an old Juana artifact, a musical instrument of sorts. Ages ago, it was part of a pair, but its companion, the Cornet of Depths, was lost oh. when the old city sank. Both are said to carry the voice of Andra. What if we found that too? Look no further, silly man. I speak with Ngati's tongue. <laughs> and are you willing to sit upon my shelf for my entertainment? I do not believe in these superstitions, of course. Yet you see the tension in the way he pinches the fabric of his sleeve. He wants his artifact badly. You don't mean valuable in the monetary sense. I have told you all you need to know. It is an ages both. I Why does it give me this? What do you want with I it? Have told you all you need. It is an age both. I do. I see. Have you any okay. Other questions? I need to ask about another matter. What do you require? I found some money that belongs to you. What? What is this? Why would I want to give this guy money for free? What happened to your legs? A storm, a rash decision, and an accident at sea. One that took my sailing days, but not my skill. Life in the dead fire is unpredictable. Sometimes it takes you in its jaws only to spit you out onto some new shore. The principe seemed divided. Which side are you on? Why must we speak of sides? Like squabbling merchants from the republics. Once, there were no sides. Only principe. A people united by common interest and culture. But as our fame has grown, so have our numbers. Many of these new bloods have no sense of restraint and little regard for our heritage. Listen. But we need them still. The new bloods are principi too now. And many are inventive in ways the old god is not. Inventive. Hmm, more resourceful killers then. Do not talk around this. I talk around nothing, my cut old friend. You either take my meaning, or you do not. I need to speak with Madden Morena. Patience. First, you must bring oh, me the okay. Cornet of Waves. A most agree. Okay. The Cornet of Waves. Alright, let's go to the gullet. We have a quest to turn in, I believe. Need something. Here's your medicine. That could save an awful lot of sick people. Give her the medicine. That's the stuff, all right. Thank you. That's from me and from the children of the Dawn Stars. All God's warmth. Plus one priest restoration power level. Plus two burn armor rating. 
Okay. <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I better start treating the sickest ones. I guess I can give this to um to Jody, but she's on our party right now. Cool. Can we watch. Italy says you got the cure, thank you. Oh, that guy disappeared. He just stood up and he's better already. Oh, she disappeared too. Need something. Damn, it's an instant cure. Look at that. They're all just getting up and and they're A-OK. -okay. Alrighty. I say the gods chiseled you from lumber and dragon bone. I'll take that. At least as far as my head's concerned. <laughs> okay. What else do we have? So we have velvet glove, brass fist. Berteno will try to fence the gloves. Oh, right. Yes, we have that. Um... Poco Kahara. Blah, blah blah. Food source. That's in the city. Jody. Are there quests that, that were recommended to have her? This one, it's recommended to have her in the party. This one as well. This one as well. Cornet of Waves don't need her. Ongoing feud between the Bardado and Valera families. Terms of trade. Blow the man down. Okay, let's go down to the old city. I think it's time, finally, after we've literally visited every single house, including the, the Narrows here. Let's go see what this, this old city is about. Seer says you can go. Down we go. A rickety metal cage swings over an abyss. Your clothes billow with a foul wind from below, and faint screams and roars echo from the depths. Still, you can make out no details from this distance. Go down. You step into the jouncing cage. The door slams shut, and your descent begins with the rattle of chains. As your eyes adjust to the gloom, you begin to make out crumbling ruins and shadows flickering between them. The cage comes to rest with a groan. city each layer of Nekataka is more pungent than the last yeah <laughs> old city overlook nice and slow. let's start sneaking around here oh god look at these bodies Ew. ew like a miasma rising dargul undead Whoa, this guy got up. Where am I? Oh, that's me over here. Oops, let's back off. Take him down. Pestilent Rotgast. I charmed that thing. That's good.
We don't have any healers, except for her. She should be doing something for him. There we go. He just dropped Moonlight, which is nice, but we need some bigger heals. He can do an AoE blind, but it'll only affect two people. We need Eloth to to help out some. Is that you? I'm dying. This only affects enemies. Ah, uh, damn, he went down. Stand together. There's a weapon. Got to get the lad. Feet. Oh, he's back up. Wait, how did he get back up? I don't even know. I don't even know, but I'll take it. One per rest, power surge. What is this? It's like... Freaks out in a straight line, bouncing off of walls, causing harming anything that's in the path. Okay. Does he still have moonlight on him? He doesn't. Well, he does. It's not healing much, though, sadly. I guess I'll get you to lay on hands him. Maybe just try and kill this thing. There we go. Let's try and charm this before it gets to us. There we go. Take him down. Oh shit, I uncharmed this guy by doing that. Damn, that sucks. Also, she needs a big heal. Oh no! Charmed. That's good. Let's keep charming things. How about that?
Oh no, he went down again. Oh god, we're all down. Damn, okay, I'm gonna have to reload. Shit, I, I, I didn't fight that really well. I just wasn't expecting so many people to be there. I saw like the one Dargul and I started the fight and then like 20 dudes popped up. Including one from a, from a spot I wasn't really keeping uh, dibs on. Oh wait, there's another path here. This has got Coral Snuff. Action Speed, Deflection, and Reflex. That's cool. Look at this. What are these lines? Essence Battery. What the heck is that? Oh, it's an explosive. Okay, good to know. Sigil of Nightmares. Uh oh. Uh, let's get our ranged people to just snipe that thing. It's immune to ranged? Weird. Okay. There's a specter here. These things are like one level above us, it seems like. Oh my god, there's like 20 ghosts and uh, another sigil. Noxious bursts. Veil touched. Constitution afflictions. Perception afflictions. Oh, they're they're weak against perception afflictions. Okay, let's try and blind them. That that shade is like three levels above. Okay. Wait, where did I go? I just teleported somewhere. What? I got pulled all the way down here. Oh my god, the, both our tanks got pulled there. What? Where did, where did the other tank go? He went over here. These wraiths. They left our whole backline exposed. Alright, Aloth, it's your time to shine, I guess. You gotta make something happen here. Wait, they have shock resistance? No, they don't. Damn, did that hit him? Shit. I thought I moved him out of the way. Okay, yeah. Jeez, okay. I think I may be just not equipped for this area. It's too hard. That one thing is like three levels above our... our party. What's this over here? Is that thing alive? What is that? It's moving, whatever it is. A pedestal that moves. What are these? Oh my god. Grub burrow, that's... These things are one level above? Okay, I guess we can try this. Oh, 
Oh crap. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Wait, this is going to the tank. Oh my god, it's missing our entire backline. Okay. I guess that's doable then. He's prone though, so that's make that makes it a bit hard. Oh god, I got the, the greater Leon hands off, but he went down. Yeah, this is not good. These are all one level above. Well, most of them are. And there's a burrow here, which I think maybe spawns more of these things. Or maybe it spawns these little guys. Okay, yeah, this is not gonna happen. <laughs> Guaranteed that's not gonna happen. I kind of want to go back up to this area though. Well, I'll take this chest. How about that? Amphora. Oh, okay. It spreads fire. We took out one of those burrows. There's two more down here. I wonder if this fight becomes more doable if we attack these burrows from behind. That's one. There's a thing coming up from over here. Okay, there we go. That's two. So we just need our tanks to like handle these things. Let's go. Uh, I guess I'll try and. Oh, you can't charm these things, right? What? Well, it's got maybe because I have no vision on it. I don't understand what that means. Oh no, it worked. Okay. Paladin went down like instantly. That's not a good sign. Yeah, our, our dudes are like getting prone. Jeez, he went down instantly. Yeah, this is still hard, even though I took out the burrows. Our dudes are just dropping super quickly. And, like, it's a bad sign if our paladin goes down that quickly, then there's, like, zero chance that fight's gonna work. Oh, wait, we can actually touch the water here. A cracked stone face rises from the pool. Lichens clog the hollows under its brows and nostrils, and a pale glow plays along the undersides of its cheeks. Inspect the pool. As murky as it is, it's difficult to tell how deep it goes. You can barely see the statue's submerged soldiers, uh, shoulders. Uh, the rest is shrouded in darkness, yet a smudge of light shines from the gloom. And you hear a faint musical sound from the depths. Oh, that must be the cornet of waves. Or the, or the Cornet of Depths, I'm sorry. The the melody ebbs and flows and rises and recedes. Let's dive towards it. Wait, no, let's... Hang on. Let's leave. Get the entire party in this area. And then maybe we'll send... I think Adair down? He has the most athletics. He's got seven. She's got six, which is not bad. He's got more constitution than her as well. But this guy's also a water shaper, right? Can't he just go into the water for free? And not have anything bad happen to him. Let's try and send Takehu and see what happens. Leaps into the pool and swims down. The water is surprisingly warm with an oily texture and a brackish flavor. 
Yet as Takehu paddles deeper, the water grows colder. The light in the depths becomes brighter and sharper, and a strange melody murmurs through the water. As the mysterious source grows closer, muck clogs Takehu's eyes, and a strong current pushes back. Oh, he failed the check. The efforts of swimming starts to take its toll as Takehu's empty emptying lungs begin to burn. Continue toward the light. Reaches the source of the light and music, a glowing conch in the statue's open hand. Music flows from it, as rich and deep as baritone. Take the conch and swim back up. Takehu hovers above it, lungs screaming for air. Uh, take the conch and swim back up. With a little effort, prize it from the statue's palm, it comes free with a pop and the radiance and music fade. Takehu pushes off from the statue and swims despite the pain swelling in his chest. Kicks toward the dim glow of the surface. Cornet of the depths. Takehu barely peeks through the water before gulping deep painful breaths. Crawls out of the pool exhausted and weakened. You hear rattling. Bones by the pool grind and snap together. Several skeletons rise from the mud. Oh boy. Skeletal Sorcerer, Skeletal Warrior. So we've fought in Skeletons before. I don't know how tough these ones will be, but you, you never know. Whoa, this guy, Risen Champion. Look at how tough this guy is. Holy crap. Wait, I'm cussing the wrong spot. Right there. She went down instantly again. Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. This is going to be really hard. That one champion makes it really hard. Okay, he passes with... This is a constitution check? Yeah. Okay, there we go. Let's turn on defender. Discipline strikes. You'll start casting Moonlight. Actually, no, pull up, pull back here. Let's let's group together. Not you. You. Let's prone anyone in this vicinity. Maybe we can charm the champion. Ouch, Takehu. Getting worked.
Did we charm it? Oh, we didn't charm it. It missed? What's its will defense? Oh, it's 89. Jeez, okay, that's gonna be hard. We can maybe try and charm something else, but for now, we'll have to shoot something. Oh my god, he's getting worked so hard. I can't who know. Yeah, he's got three dudes on him. Oh my god, what is that? Okay, <laughs> yeah, we're not touching that, I guess. You know, the other thing, too, is that, like, we're trying out this druid dude, and his heals are not, like, very strong at all. Makes it really hard to, to fight. I'm starting to feel the call of putting Jody back in. We'll try this this one encounter one more time. This one with the with the bodies and stuff. Oh shit, we got affected by Noxious Cloud. Hmm? What are you thinking? Enemies ahead. Log zone cannot run. What are you thinking? I wonder. Hang on. Oh? Huh? What say? Something I can do. What can I do? Let's pull back here. And then we can also buff up here too. Question is what buffs do we even have? Um we can do that. Wood skin. Okay, here they come. Who's this? That's Alaf, right? But I have him casting a spell. Why is he doing nothing? There we go. nice storm did something oh we got so much um so much focus now how's teku stealth or like yeah he's like hiding that's weird A giant fireball in this area. <laughs> Not exactly my area of expertise. Take him down. 
Wow. Huge damage. Okay. Look at all these giant dudes like crawling out of nowhere. And they're also ranged. I didn't know that. These are all hobbled. Out of druid spells. Behold me, mother. Oh, oops, I accidentally hit the guy I was charming. We're trying to charm. Try and keep charming these rot ghasts. These things are tanking for us. I'm gonna try and charm this rock ass here. Okay, not bad. And this dude, of course. and taking so much damage. Um, Adair, why don't you flank? Thinking, oh, we're ascending in this future thing in the miasma, but whatever. It's just one guy left, I think. Stuck over here. Cool. All right, we won one fight in down here. 
That's good. Oh, there's a ghost there to touch. Hatchet. Not exactly the loot you would hope for. Whoa, look at that. What's over here? Padded cap. A lot of mundane things over here. Uh, there's a path up here too. I don't want to check that out as well. Let's first go look at this ghost thing. Quick save. Oh, is that the Botaro dude? Yeah, it is Botaro. The man you saw lower from the gullet earlier. His soul remnant pulses with urgency. Read his soul. You're being dragged towards the cage, but you're not looking at it or the darkness below. Soon there will be nothing else for you. Overseer Hitenga is holding the marked coin, the swollen head, glaring at you. You already tried explaining yourself, but it's no use. He knows where you got it. He tucks it into his pocket. Instead, you look at Biha, furious and heartbroken where she stands beyond the guards. There's something you need to tell her, but she's so far, receding farther than by the second. Recall what you need to tell her. You're standing in front of a man. His dark, wizened face reminds you of old leather, but a delicate work of embroidery rests on his lap. He holds out a purse with long, fine fingers. Is this Dario? Take it. It's heavy. Probably more money than you've earned in your life. You try not to let this show on your face. You know what to do. The crime lord nods at you. Yes, Dario. He wants you to pay off one of his associates. Bring contraband band from the Adra mill. You've done this before, but never with so much money in hand. You realize he's, st he's still talking. My people are particular about security, but show them the swollenette and they will let you pass. You pat your pocket for the mark coin. Yes, it's still there. You leave the lair of Dario the, Glean, the, the, the Lean and zip through the narrows. Past the swift chewing guards, left at the four-way intersection, and left again to the gullet. Your hands are shaking, and you're remembering the rumor Bia told you about, of a merchant captain at the tavern. The money is heavy in your hands, it's a risk, but you realize you've already decided to take it. You approach the tavern with, the, tavern with your heart in your mouth, realizing that you can't just walk in there holding Dario's purse, you need to hide it. Fortunately, the rubble around you offers plenty of hiding places. When no one is looking, you clear some stones out of one corner and hide the purse beneath them. There. You'll come back for it once you've made your deal with this Rautaian. You're almost starting to feel better about it too. Oh, so you know what? When we found the gold or the copper or whatever, and we were going to return it to Dario, that's what this is about. So Dario gave him this purse to, to, to use and we kind of took it and now we just, we're just 600 copper richer. So I guess I'm not going to return it. Screw that. Why would I do that? <laughs> Fuck Dario. As Botaro walks into the tavern and the memory fades and you find yourself once more looking at his corpse. Okay, so that fills in some of the, the pieces. Okay, we'll take that. Quick save. an arm sticking out. We take a lockpick out of it. Fresh boot prints stir the mud. Hmm. Oh shit, these things are tough. Holy crap, look at this. Can't. 
You better heal. Let's mule kick this guy. This thing isn't doing the job. <laughs> Whoa, oh, these things are being spawned. Oh crap, that sucks. Can we charm, please? Please, 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 charm. Charm, charm. He ran right through. That didn't work. Oh my god, please keep charming this guy. Please, for the love of god. There we go. Okay. <laughs> this guy tripped as he went to, to attack this thing. Makes no difference. Oh shit, he went down. Wait, he's coming back up. No, he's going back down. <laughs> he's going down. Uh, let's charm and try and take out the, the back things. Let's go. Why does this work sometimes? Do that, please. There we go. He didn't take it out. Oh, there's a grubbling there. What is he doing? There we go, we charmed it. Okay, there we go. Let's flank it. Boom. Those things looked like a lot higher level, but we still were able to kill them, which is nice. Sure. Yeah. I'll get it open. Got it. 
Nui, uh, Azara Nui shells and Obsidian Flakes. Those are just currencies. Hmm. It's not really worth all of that, I think, but oh well, guess we'll take it. Oh, wait, I just clicked on stairs randomly. Nope. Nope. Let's not go yet. So there's two encounters we haven't done here. There's this ghost one, which is really hard, and there's this Burrows one, which is... It's, it's decently difficult, I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're just not the right level for it. Negative fortitude, negative fortitude. Yes, quick save here. Now let's take a look at this. What is this, by the way? Doesn't say. Let's move. School drag nest. That's what it says. Okay, you find stairs carved into the cliff. They're disconcertingly narrow in some places and broken in others, but they appear to lead all the way to the bottom. Inspect the path. The way down looks stable enough. However, you see a gap about halfway down the cliff. Step, climb down the steps. Halfway down, you reach a spot where the stairs have crumbled away. Only a narrow ridge remains. Yet in the darkness, your keen senses detect another shape just below the gap. It's a ledge, the remains of some old building. More importantly, it looks wider and more stable than the ridge of the crumbled stairs. Consider the path before you. Let's shimmy across the ledge. We don't need to test our dexterity. Uh, the ledge proves sturdy and allows you to easily cross the gap. You continue down the stairway until you reach the muddy ground below. This is like a completely different area. It is old city. Oh man, it's a huge area. Okay. Quietly now. The dagger. Trouble up ahead. Lesser earth blight. A predator in the water. Of course. Whoa, whoa. Look. Ah, shit. Okay, well. Let's go. Come on. Damn, that's a lot of ghosts. And they just teleported to the back line. Yeah, these things are pretty high level, the shades. You know what? I just think I'm not supposed to be here. We'll, we'll do this later. I guess, when we get a few levels. And plus, like, I, I really would prefer having a priest over Tekehu in these fights. Okay. So I'll come back down with, uh, with Jody. Wait, what? Why do we go this way? Wait, why are there skull drags here? What? Uh oh. Do we have to fight our way out? Oh no, are we locked in here? At the very least, there's a tight area here. A lot of enemy oh, that's a grubling. There must be a burrow nearby. God damn it! I hate those stupid things. This area sucks. Okay, Aloth, you gotta make the floor slippery, please. You, uh, we need some more. Armor? Take him down. Okay. 
Does Noxious Burst work on these guys? It might. Weakened. From Screech. Oh my god, he got paralyzed and taken down. Dude, this thing's down. Let's do devotion. He got paralyzed. Oh my god, these guys are paralyzing. It's so annoying. Also, the slickened floor disappeared really quickly. He transformed and then he died. Fantastic. Oh my god, we're not going to be able to get out of this place. We're trapped. Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch weapons. I kind of want to go back to an Arquebus. It seems just like it has more damage. Okay. What's his alt weapon? The rod? Uh, actually, it's good that he can attack from behind the tanks. I think I'm okay with that for now. <laughs> These guys got thumbs downs? Is that the screech? That's the stuff that's going to paralyze people, right? At the very least, it weakens us. down already what happened was he was he paralyzed I didn't even look at his status it all happened so quickly wait do we have to micro oh we gotta micromanage this again okay save stand here e3 move up I sense a predator in the water. You should just stand here. Hey. I'm here. Right? Like as narrow as possible. I can do. I'm here. And then maybe I'll deliver a ranged Sorry. attack. There we go. You're going to here, give the tank some love. Dude, you got to nuke super hard. That looks complicated. 
Oh, I need to use my cypher spells, man. What am I doing? Honestly. It's like I forgot that I had them. I think we lost our paladin, but this I cannot do. Did they die? Need something stronger. Damn, dude, I'm not doing any work with the, the cypher spells. Okay, that's one guy down. There we go. We got a charm off. That's good. No rush, but if you have any answers, Tony, I'd be much obliged. You just need to drop this guy, and I'll charm the next one. There we go. Man, he got proned again. Oh, he doesn't have any heals. <laughs> Draws on the healing power of nature. Friendly AoE. Robust inspiration. I should do this at the beginning. Combust. Please charm something. There we go. Let's charm this grubbling in the back too. There we go. Oh wait, I need to shoot. Thank you. Keep shooting, it's almost dead. Good. We gotta level up. Please survive. Okay, who can you heal him? Can you do something? What can you do? No more heals, nothing. I guess he's got an off tank. Wow, Grubbling took him down. Nice, level up. Last guy. We gained assassinate, which I need to use with daggers to make the most of it. Very good. Invis again. Let's go. Minor missiles. Oh my god, we made it. Somehow we killed these things. Oh man, he went down too. Right at the last second. Got so many injuries, we need to get the hell out of here. Level up. Uh, let's do uh, let's do a round of explosives. Sure. Actually, you know what? No, never mind. Let's just do athletics. I like his look. He looks very Nordic. 
I think I've said that before too. Um, survival. Okay, so we unlock the next tier. It looks like, right? Yeah, level seven. Oh, we're level seven. Wow. All right. So what do we have access to? We have fearless resistance to resolve afflictions. Damage with proficient weapons. Oh, that's pretty good. Defense when disengaging. Resistance to might afflictions. Resistance to dexterity. And weapon change recovery. And then what are these two things? Vigorous defense. It costs two discipline, uh, 20 all defenses, and concentration for 15 seconds. Determined to deflect all incoming blows, increasing all defenses. That's really good. And then what's this below? Each time the fire takes damage, the duration extends. Oh, that sounds pretty good for a tanky boy. Okay. And then this is charge. Fighter dashes across the battlefield in a flash, stunning anyone caught in the path. Huh. So we're definitely doing that, 100%. We could even take the damage bonus here. Because we're using weapons he is proficient with. And it unlocks another 5% later on. Let's do that. And then finally a level up for our Cypher. Our mind stalker. Uh, I guess we'll take mechanics. Mechanics seems like one of the best skills in the game still. As for here, uh, streetwise is seven collectively. Ten. Two for insight. Um, I'd be willing to do diplomacy or insight. Let's do insight. All right, we've got a new power, a new tier. Power level unlocked. Choose abilities for both classes. Oh, okay. So we get to choose one from Cypher. Concentration at the start of each combat. So the deal with concentration is you lose it, right? Yeah, if someone tries to interrupt you, you lose that, that stack. Penetration with weapons, that's pretty good. Psychic backlash. So if someone targets my will, I hit back instantly. Especially traumatic, adding additional raw damage. Hmm. We get a spell also. Puppet Master is really good. Destroy target psychic defenses, leaving them dominated by the cipher for duration. Subservient to the will of the enemy, will use everything at his disposal to fight its former teammates, minus 5 intellect. And how is that different from treason? It's alliance flipped, cannot use active abilities. Okay, so if you dominate someone, they use their abilities. Which might be really good. Fractured Volition. Bow Target, Hobbled Weaken. Ectopsychic Echo. Rebounding wave of psychic feedback between a Cypher and Ally causes crush damage. Mm, I don't know about that. Pain Link. 25% of damage taken is dealt to attackers. I had this last time in the last game. I never used Pain Link. Soul Ignition. Burn damage per 3 seconds for 15. Mm, and Foe AoE Frightened Second. I think I'll take Domination. And then on the rogue side of things, finishing blow is a full attack that does 50% damage and 50% damage by percentage of target's health lost. The rogue looks to finish off an, an injured opponent with a precise deadly strike that increases in damage the more health the target is missing. That's pretty nice. It's like an execute. And it, it probably, I don't know if this stacks with uh, assassinate or not. And then there's also ring the bell or strike the bell. One handed gains raw damage. Two handed gains staggered. Ranged gains penetration. Bonus effect. So it's an interrupt with, uh, I guess, bonus raw damage over time. Hmm, that sounds okay.
I think I'm going for the the execute here. Wait, what are these before we move on? Fortitude, reflex, repost. Looks for openings in to counterattack in combat. Incoming melee attacks that target deflection, and miss have a chance allowing of allowing an instant full attack repost. Oh, that's pretty good. Bull's will. Deep pockets. Concentration. Hmm, repost seems pretty good, but. I don't really want people attacking my rogue in melee because she's like really lightly armored. So let's go with finishing blow. And then next level, we can, I guess we can choose next level, one from each or like one or the other. Okay, cool, done. All right, we need to find a way out of here. We're like bleeding uh, profusely. Okay, I think we can get out now. Getting hit with Noxious Cloud. Oh, she's taking damage. Oh my god, we made it out <laughs> alive. You and the captain traveled together all that time, but never No, that's uh not uh, how things played out. Okay. Just never saw it that way. Ngati weeps for such wasted potential. Okay then. Let's go to the hole. Need something? Wait, can we not rest here? What you need? Oh, here we go. Okay. Just the... You have to say you want to buy something. Ooh, stealth, streetwise, and sleight of hand. Hell yeah. Done. 